Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Shadow of War. Alrighty. This has been a long time coming since it was announced, and I was too excited. I actually had to move up <laughs> the uh, playthrough of the Shadow of War in the uh, play line that I do for the week, uh, because A, I had uh, City Skylines on hiatus, so I figured, you know, um, why not? <laughs> and B, I really wanted to play this game. You, saw, you see here, uh, there's a continued story. I was trying to get a feel of how the beginning would go, and there's a big exposition dump. There is, like, tons of stuff to be pushed out because a lot of it wasn't covered in the first game, and it's not... It's, it's kind of necessary to get the feel of this game going. So, it's just a big exposition dump in the beginning. I'm going to keep most of... I'm going to keep all of that in. But uh, I'm going to try and get this episode to a size where I've gotten a significant amount of gameplay out of the way and feel like, oh, this is actually an episode where I did something instead of just watching <laughs> shit. Uh, there's also a little bit of a tutorial to get you back into the feel of how the game goes. So that's, that's as far as I know. That's about as far as my brain has gotten. I know bits and pieces from streams where I was like, I need to watch this. And they're like, no, I can't. <laughs> I need to keep it fresh. So I struggled internally with this. I want you people to realize this. <laughs> and that's the main reason why I'm going on and on about this for like two minutes. All right. Fuck it. Let's get going. You're ab about to delete the saved game. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, the items will be transferred to the new game and become available in Act 2. Okay. That is... That is good to know. And I haven't even gotten far enough for uh, follower orcs to be a thing, so yeah. Alright, and we're going to be doing it on normal difficulty because I don't want to ruin my playthrough. <laughs> Uh, Nemesis difficulty is is cool, but I'm not sure I want to subject myself and you guys to me struggling with it. Um, to be fair, normal seems like a decent difficulty to go with, and it seems like it's something I can progress with, but Nemesis difficulty <laughs> is it's, all it is is just a torture fest uh, i saw bits and pieces of potate's stream and he he struggled and struggled <laughs> just with nemesis difficulty and i'm not willing to subject myself to that not for this game i want to be able to actually look cool so <laughs> because other games i've subject i subject myself to bullshit i want this game to be my cool me game so, let's <laughs> just fucking start it and shut the fuck up. Listen to all this exposition that's going to be dropped on us, just so we're brought up to speed. I think it's about 10, 15 minutes worth. I didn't really count. I do not remember the loading screen being this long. Although I think this is the part where they're bringing the uh, information from Shadow of Mordor into this one. I think. Don't quote me. And I'll try not to comment on things just to let them sit where they are, but you know me. Sometimes I can't help it. The story so far. I had a family once. A wife. This is beautiful. And a son. You're a thing. Along with every you. Yep. What has happened to me? Ah, uh, we we dead it. Get cursed. You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. We are bound. My life and 
Yep. Who are you, Wraith? I shaped the history of Middle-earth. I crafted the rings of power. Kurt Bramble. Greatest smith of the Second Age. Sauron deceived you into making the rings. He tortured both you and your king. Perhaps that pain is what commits us. I should have died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. But there is only one way to close the circle. To defeat Sala. The time has come for a new ring. And there's the end of Mor uh, Shadows of Mordor. I was about to say the end of Mordor, and that's not right yet. <laughs> it's at the end of this game that that'll happen. A new the ring. The world of men is ending. I have seen it. I have felt it. In the fires of Mount Doom, a ranger and a wraith, bound together in death, craft the one thing that could challenge the Dark Lord. A ring of power. Power can blind those who seek it, and even the strongest bonds can be broken. The future I have seen cannot come to pass. Kill it, Brimbor. Death calls to you again, Ranger. How do you answer? This is beautiful. Where did you find it? Oh, I still have a few friends left in Gondor. What's wrong, my love? The past is the past. Nothing can be changed. We must leave this place. We can go now. In two weeks. The Wraith calls to you. I call to you. Wraith! Where are you? I can feel that cold. It's been cold today. Search for Celebrimbor Free me. has brought us here. And the cold. Can't stand the cold. Oh yeah? Well, you're not gonna stand <laughs> this either. <laughs> to keep quiet. Yeah, about that. Um Okay. These all how he's preparing for war. Yeah, it looks like it. Spiders don't but, uh, they're also not able to hear my grunts of Killing them apparently, just funny to me. Ranger. And who is she? 
Huh? Who is she? You're getting jumpy. Yeah, famous last words. <laughs> That's actually true. That is famous last words. How did they not hear the guy's weapon falling off the ledge and onto the ground? It's like right there! Okay, well, some goofiness is still there, but that's fine. We must defeat her. Well, who's her is the question. Okay, well, take you, because apparently you noticed me. Oh, you're going to kill it? Kill what? That's a question. What do you mean he waits for, but for how long? Huh. There's no way to open this up without a massive fight, from the look of it. Yeah, I, I get that, but... Okay. Maybe now I can open this up without a massive fight. Oh, shit. I noticed me. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, fuck me. Uh, this was unavoidable. Oh, jeez. Fuck. I should have killed more of them when I had the chance. Whoops. Hey, fuck you. You aren't allowed to get that. Neither are you. Fuck you. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Oh, nope. Didn't quite get... Oh, okay. Didn't quite get enough to be able to do that. Oh, jeez. Just gotta knock all of them down. Ow, fuck. You got lucky. You got lucky, motherfucker. Oh, jeez. Come on now. Take your lumps. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, I can actually... I can drain them without Kelebrimbor? Ah. That's new. I thought I needed Kelebrimbor to be able to drain the health. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'm already holding A to sprint. Oh, and I can still do this move, too. Even without Kelebrimbor. That's weird. Then why is he hunting after Kelebrimbor? If he's still able to do all the abilities without him. doing this now or not um i called you here for a reason i called you here you will return him to me now <laughs> yeah you probably shouldn't have said that talion mm, you are brave for a man true but it is not your sword that will save him. It's not this How time. How much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Oh. Um, you want the ring? You would you give, me, give the me the ring? ring. For the ring. For the and find myself beside him in your web. I am Shelov, and I deal only in truth. I see. I wouldn't give it up either. Wait. I know.
Oh. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. Oh. I'm impressed, Ray. He must mean something to you. Go to your puppet before he dies. So this was all a ploy by Shelob to get the ring. You have doomed us, Talia. Her power was vast before, and now you have given her mind. I poured my life force into that ring. Then we must take it back. <laughs> And he's healed. Not a good idea. Yeah, that's what I figured. The war you came to fight is not here. I mean, you're right. But... The ring is lost. So look to Minas Ethel and the Dark Lord's armies that surround it. Look to the Palantir. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle-earth is dominated. The Palantir must be protected. I assume that was to share her vision, not just to hug Talion for no real reason. Yeah, that probably hurt a little bit. I must know if she loves vision holds true. Understandable. It was bad enough when the Black Gate was attacked. If uh, any other region of uh, Gondor is attacked like that, especially like what happened at the Black Gate, I would understand why he's concerned. Each region has a separate army, but you can travel between regions at any time using whatever that is on the world map. Alrighty. If I remember right, the map is massive now. It's not just two regions like uh, Udun and uh, the Sea of Nurnan. It's now like multiple regions. I think it was about seven I last heard. I don't know. I tried to keep myself... Um, appraised of how the next game's gonna be while also not trying to spoil myself and it's very difficult to do that the siege of Minas Ithil all right this is where we actually get some gameplay Wow That's a lot of orcs. The spider showed us the truth. Yeah, it looks Gondor's like it. The last fortress in Mordor cannot fall. Here's hoping we can stop it. Because that's a lot of them. I don't even think we saw that many within the Black Gate. Middle Earth. Shadow of War. Fuck yeah. The Palantir is our concern. We must seize it before it falls into Sauron's hands. With it, his armies will be unstoppable. The fate of the city matters not. Don't. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. Yeah, there you go, Talion. It was bad enough the Black Gate had to suffer it. Taking up the captain should buy the Gondorians some time. That'd be a good idea. To the Palantia. That is true. Find a worm and make him talk. Fair enough. Hold A and moves towards the ledge to jump from any height, and you do not take fall damage. Wee! <laughs> ah! What are we even waiting for? There, his mind is weak. Yeah, there's three of them in this general area. That is, that is useful to me. And ha-ha! I'm gonna take the info out of you. 
is the search for the Palantia. Thank you. These are Sauron's captains leading the siege. Interrogating worms grants intel. Ooh. Crook Battlemaster. Hmm. He's dazed by stealth. Uh, I can't see any of the other ones right now. Gaining intel on captains reveals their weaknesses, allowing you to precisely target their vulnerabilities. The bleh. Sorry. <laughs> vulnerabilities. My nose decided to fuck with my uh, ability to pronounce things. And use the power of the wraith to amplify their fears. This captain is a commander. He will always be surrounded by his gang of grunts. Fair enough. Maybe we'll find out a little bit about other targets. The captain leading the search is in the lower city. Then he will go no further. Yeah. Sounds like it. Alright, um... That's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. So I could check the army. Because I wanted to check his details. There we go. He's dazed by stealth. Damaged by executions and stealth attacks. Uh, he is an advanced class commander. Okay, fair enough. That's what we heard from before. That armor or something else. Um, and he has a couple case discs on him to boot. Bladed. Huh. Didn't think that they would be able to make something like that. Okay. And he's arrow-proof, fire-proof, poison-proof, and beast-proof. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That's not good. <laughs> that severely limits some of the uh, stuff I can go after him with, but... And again, I mean... Stealth is apparently the best way to go. Okay, let's do that. Alright. Now that we have that info. Alright. Let's go after a couple of the other worms here. There we go. Ah! Gotcha! Alright, well that's taken care of. Uh, gotta keep up stealth, otherwise there's gonna be problems. Let's go this route, huh? Take out these guys while I'm here. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Alright. And... Oh, saw something. But not enough to save him. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, let's poison the grog. Why not? See if that uh nets us any kills, huh? Especially while we're in the middle of this. And there we go. Let's learn a couple things about other commanders, huh? Let's see about you, Booball the Deep Seer, Mystic Trickster. He's terrified of poison. That's that's good. He's flammable, heavily damaged by fire, sickly, and beast fodder. Fair enough. And damaged by ranged attacks and stealth attacks. And he's a trickster. That's an advanced class, I guess. Oh, and he's... Uh, because he's mystic, he also has a tribe bonus of mystic blade. Hmm. An expert in surprise attacks and unexpected tactics that confuse and bewilder his enemies. The trickster is difficult to predict. Fair enough. He definitely looks like he's difficult to predict. Alright, smoke bomb to elude his enemies. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uses the power of shadow to appear next to you, then strikes with a deadly Morgul blade. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's gonna be a problem. And he's a frontline warrior to boot, so... Alrighty. And he's immune to execution. Alright, which explains why he's damaged by ranged and stealth. Okay. Fair enough. Good thing I don't have executions yet. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. Alright. Nope. Oh. Ah, fuck. I thought it was enough time. Okay. That works. At least the worm hasn't fucking caught on yet. Why the hell did it go see-through there for a second? 
There we go. I love the fact that you can actually continue your hit streak combo on them after they've fallen down. Because that was a problem in Shadow of Mordor. Is that when they fall down, is that pfft, your hit streak's done if you decided to continue a little bit. But in this one, you at least get an attack that'll hit them. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, and... Fuck it, let's look at this guy. Whoever this guy is. Shaka. Just a regular warrior. He's not a captain. At least not yet. Just a warrior. Vulnerable to stealth, sickly, and beast fodder. Dazed by stealth. Okay, fair enough. That is good, because he is very vulnerable to stealth. So I can utilize all of that. Uh, he's damaged by ranged attacks, executions, and explosions. Alright, I'll have to keep that in mind. And goodbye. <laughs> well, there's the three freebies I got here. Well, one of them was necessary. The other two were freebies, I guess. Now, let's go forward. Find the Orc Commander's Trail. I should probably be sneaking, honestly. Oh, yeah? Well, hey there. Manfell. Hi there. Grey Walker. I thought he was dead. He is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was supposed to be. Multiple times, honestly. Let's be honest there. Aim the bow, charge the shot, and fire. Yep, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty much the exact same as it was in the last game. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ow, jeez. Ow, that hurt a little bit. I ran out of focus way quicker than I thought I was going to. And let's kill you. Just a little extra health. There we go. Hi oh, there. <laughs> nice try. And let's knock you down and kill you quick. Beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty. Now this is a new thing. The Orc Commander's Trail. The Gondorians. We have to hope. The Palantir is a powerful artifact. If we were to possess it, we could turn the tide. Yeah. That would be a good idea. Investigate the clue. Uh, move L and R to bring the trail into focus. Okay, so I'm holding up. Okay, how about R? Hey! Just had to pull down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Well, I used up some arrows, so... I think this is the way you have to pick them up now. Yeah. You just run over them instead of having to press a button. Which is nice. It's nice to have that. Uh, this isn't, like, nowhere, just letting you know, but... <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we, we will be doing that eventually, Talion. Do not worry about that. Oop, grab that. Oh, that elven speed is so useful. It consumes focus, but hey, that's worth it. Alright. And we are now inside the city. He's close. The Wraith world will reveal his presence. Fair enough. Oh, and he's right over there. Krug. Krug, battle master. Okay. And he is... And it's nice that it gives us the strengths again. That is very useful. Strengths and weaknesses. And it actually pauses the game, it looks like. I don't see him moving at all. Beautiful. Um, He's damaged by executions and stealth attacks, and dazed by stealth, so... Stealth is definitely the way we should go after him. Question is... Should I do it from above or below? That is the good question there, isn't it? Huh. Well. I 
think I will uh, get into position, at least from above. What the hell? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, he's just sitting right over there with a bunch of Uruk. Maybe if I start from a top there. Oh, that's an idea. Wave four, form up. It's your job to secure the seeing stone. <sighs> no doubt they've hidden it, but we will tear open every room, every vault, and every Gondorian to find it. Make me proud, lads. Alrighty, well, that's apparently what they're doing. Someone's killed him. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah, that was me, actually. <laughs> oh, and he actually listens when you, you know, direct him to go left or right on ledges. He'll actually listen. Oh, thank God, Talion. Thank you. And... Alright. Now that we're in position, I admit we're a little over our normal time, but I had to get some gameplay in, so... I'm going to end the episode right now and immediately go into the next episode. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click subscribe. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> My nose is fucking with me here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and finally getting into Shadow of War, which I've been so hyped for because fuck yeah. This is going to be cool and awesome and I love it for you.